Hi guys, I'm back filming another video. We're gonna ignore my state that I'm in. I'm in pajamas because uh, I've started a job that means I have to wake up at one o'clock in the morning. So I'm going to bed in like five hours. If that three, four, five, six, seven, four hours. It's three p.m. <laughs> um, just because. <clears throat> dying a little bit on the inside. I've also started getting a cold. Don't worry about me, I am fine. I am not getting the virus or anything. I'm, I've just I've just got a cold. We hope. Uh, but I thought today, considering it starts tomorrow, I would film my Owl's Magical Readathon TPR. Um, I showed you that. You probably couldn't have read it. But mainly I'm looking down a lot because that's where my prompts are and what book for each prompt. So I have four physical books to show you and three um, ebooks and then one extra that I started this month in the month of March and got like what, 14 pages into because I fell into a reading slump but we're gonna ignore that factor. Um, I will say for the month of April, I a, have a new job that is taking a lot of time at the minute. Um, it's My hours at the minute are from 2am till 10am, so big time gap there. I was there till only 11 today, so you can kind of gauge how you want how much time that is going to take of me. Um, I also do have uni work that I still need to do. I'm not doing any uni work until Thursday after I've spoken to my dyslexia tutor. Um, just because I have work that I've already done and I kind of need to, that to be looked at before I can carry on, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, so we're going to take that into account uh, with how much reading I do or don't get done because, yeah, and I've kind of picked some hefty books, so we're going to hope. <laughs> Uh, for the days that I either am too tired to read or I have to do uni work, I might add on to the month of May. I don't know how well that will go or if that's feasible. You guys tell me if you think that I, for the days that I don't read in April, I add them on at the end of the month of April and go into May. So for example, if I don't read two days, I have two days of May. That that kind of thing. Tell me if that would be something you think would be feasible. I know that it's supposed to be the owls are sat in April but I have a lot of stuff going on at the minute so <laughs> it might not be feasible for me to read every day and get all of this done but yeah. I do want to say I am aiming for all 12 prompts however I have picked a career that I would like to get um, so I'm going to start with start reading in the month with those prompts and then if I somehow with everything else manage to finish those I will film another video with the rest of the prompts that don't fit into this career that I am going to attempt to read and then there will be so basically there'll be a mid-month wrap-up and then a mid-month second TBR if I manage to read them all so let's hope so there's more content on the channel Okay, so to start off with, the career I have picked is a ministry worker um, for the Department of Regulation and Control of Magical Creatures. Uh, if you somehow remember, if you're even watching from last year, um, I did Magizoologist last year. I think I only uploaded the newts as a video, but um. I did my all just last year, so I already have that diploma. I don't have it printed off. I'm hoping to get it soon, uh, <laughs> just because I didn't have money or funds or money and funds are the same thing. My brain is fried. We're going to continue. Anyway, the first prompt for that 
for charms is uh, for charms oh my gosh <laughs> for ministry worker is charms and for that one it was i believe the prompt is to read a white book with a white cover so for that i have picked one of us is next by karen m mcmanus i love karen m mcmanus she is one of my favorite ya thriller authors i've read her other two books that are out um and i've been waiting for a good opportunity to read this i know i'm gonna love it i love her writing um yeah so we have one of us is next by karen m mcmanus we have a book we have a book <laughs> for the second prompt i'm probably going to regret this <laughs> um which is defense against the dark arts this was for a book that is set at sea or on the coast um i picked the style of sea by erin morgenstern it is a big chunker which is probably a bad idea <laughs> for the fact that i don't have much reading time but we're going to see what happens, I guess. Um, I am really looking forward to this. I pre-ordered this book. No, I didn't. That is a complete lie. <laughs> I did not pre-order this. I got this because it was on sale and I ended up getting it for like less than £10, I think, for a hardcover from Waterstones. I can't specifically remember how I got this. I know it's from Waterstones and I know I bought it from there for some reason. I'm excited to read this. <laughs> um, I should probably say for this one, it is the continuation of One of Us is Lying. One of Us is Lying. However, it follows different people. So keep that in mind. I think it's just set at the same school. Uh, this one, um, I think, is a book within a book. Other than that, I have no idea. And a B a key and a sword are needed that is all i know i'm not very good with synopsis as i like to go into things blind for history of magic which is the third prompt for ministry worker is um a book that features witches or wizards and for that i picked harry potter and the prisoner of azkaban i I'm still reading these for the first time. I am a huge Harry Potter fan, if you don't already know. I absolutely love Harry Potter, but I am lacking in the reading of the books. And that's just because once I've seen a film, that is all I have in my head. So it's difficult for me to like take away from the film. If I read the book first and then watch the film, that doesn't have an effect on me. But if I watch the film first and then read the book, it kind of messes with my head. Um, you might again remember from the newts I read Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets so it's been like nearly I think it's been like six months or something or however many months it is from August to April um, between reading the second one and the third one but I will get to it in this month I know I will this will be on the top of my priority list along with everything else that I'm reading <laughs> Four Potions, which is the fourth prompt, <laughs> fourth prompt for um, Ministry Worker. I'm actually going to be reading an ebook. I have three of them on my TBR. Um, for this one, I have chosen Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1, the graphic novel. I picked this because it's under 150 pages, which is the prompt. Um, and I like Marvel. I'm trying to read as many of the of the novel the graphic novels as I can. I absolutely love the franchise. So yeah, I was hoping to go to Comic Con this year, but in light of recent world events, it looks like that's not happening. So yeah, because at Comic Con they sell graphic novels for like a pound, or sometimes it's like two pound each or three for five pounds. So it's quite a good deal, and I'm quite mad because I was actually going to buy a few. So that's annoying. <laughs> Anyway, so that will be book four of my reading. Then for Transfiguration, which is a book that contains shape-shifting, I have chosen Clockwork Prince by Cassandra Clare. I think I remember the main character, Tessa, is a shapeshifter. 
I think. I think she's a warlock, which means she's a shapeshifter. I think. I can't remember, but I googled it, and I'm going to trust Google. That was probably the baddest... What? Baddest? Oh, gosh. <laughs> the worst idea I've ever had, but hey. <laughs> okay. So, for the section of ministry worker that I want, which is Department of the regulation and control of magical creatures you also have to pass an owl for care of magical creatures to be able to take the newt for it um and for that i have chosen spin the dawn which and um, the prompt is a book with an animal that has a beak on the cover and spin the dawn has a bird on the cover so it has a beak <laughs> um this book i'm glad i got it in because me and my friends and the book club that we run together um we decided to read spin the dawn um during the hours i think all of them kind of forgot or just couldn't fit it in and that's not really a problem we kind of don't set timelines for our books we just kind of go until everyone's read them um yeah so that is the second um ebook that i will be reading this month because i have that one on ebook and finally, um, I think you might remember G mentioning that she has added some like extracurricular activities that you can take. And because I got my zoologist last year, so I already have the diploma for that, I've decided to take the Dragon Tamer seminar or course or whatever you want to call it and the prompt for this is a book including a dragon and that could be a dragon on the cover or a dragon is character or pardon me a part of a of the plot anything and after careful deliberation with my friends because I just ended up sitting at my bookshelf staring at my books I have been at work today it's been a very long day um I chose with the help of my friends Firebolt by I can't remember her full name but I know her first name's Adrian and I that sticks in my head because it's like one letter off been the same as mine anyway um yeah so those are the books that I plan to read for owls now I started the last wish I'm not going to pronounce his name because I will mess it up and in my state of mind it will be bad so yeah uh however i only got 14 pages in and i have enjoyed the 14 pages i've read so i do also want to finish reading this this month so we're gonna add that onto the pile of stuff that i'm also unlikely to read <laughs> so that is um five physical copies including the last wish and three ebooks to read for the month of april and that's just the start <laughs> hopefully we can get the other um, prompts done if not it's gonna be a sad month but yeah please let me know how you feel about me um at the end of april the days that i couldn't read that i have the full month or like a full 30 30 days of reading um the, the days that i don't manage to read in april add on into may if you like that idea and if you would be willing to support that idea please let me know in the comments i'll probably end up doing it anyway but it kind of gives me a peace of mind thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next one bye